Hey everybody, it's April 3rd, third day of Camp NaNoWriMo. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. I, I'm meeting my goals so far, so that's really all I can ask for. <laughs> I'm taking a break from writing and editing to do the Camp NaNoWriMo tag for 2018 that I believe was created by Haley. So I'm going to link her channel down below in case you guys haven't seen her video or watched her channel, go subscribe to her, okay? <laughs> um, all right, so there's six questions for this tag. Let's get going. Question one. <laughs> what are you working on for this year's Camp NaNoWriMo? So I kind of already talked about it in my last vlog. It's a young adult, supernatural, urban fantasy with psychic kids and demonic entities and government conspiracies and organizations. All the fun stuff. <laughs> um, it's a project I've been working on for quite a while. I finished the first draft a long time ago. <laughs> it took me a lot of time in the post-draft one stage to get my act together. <laughs> I wrote a new outline after I finished the book, the book, I didn't, I guess I didn't really have an outline to begin with. I basically just pantsed my first one, even though I knew the story I wanted to tell. But by the time I finished it, some things had changed. You know, as a story kind of develops, as you write it, your characters sometimes change. It was okay. So I wrote a new outline. That took me a long time. I basically planned out the books in the series and try to look at it from a bigger picture instead of just as the first book because that's where I started to get lost is book one versus the entire series so I worked a long time on the outline I worked on fixing the outline <laughs> making sure all of the scenes I wanted to tell were in the right place and then now I've just been trying to match it up to my current draft and a lot of it has been rewriting because I decided halfway through this like draft to going going over the new draft is I'm changing it from first person to third person perspective that means I'm basically rewriting my book <laughs> it's not just changing a word here and there I'm actually having to really think about the way I've already written some of these scenes because they would probably be different coming from third person perspective. But I still have the three narrators, so I'm not sure I'm doing a good enough job on varying their voices right now. So that will probably be the focus on my next draft. So right now I'm just editing adding in some new scenes that we're missing, rearranging, combining scenes. So that's a, it's a lot of work, but I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Question two, how many Camp NaNoWriMo's have you participated in? I think my first one was last July and I only made it a few days in before, before I stopped. <laughs> Um, I I was on a new medication and I got sick because of it, so I didn't have a great July and August last year. It took me a long time to get over it. So that was my first Camp Down Arrival experience and I really liked the flexibility of it. So I knew I wanted to try again this year because the camps, you know, they're not necessarily all about drafting and trying to write as much as possible in a month. You can You can do editing, you can do kind of whatever you want and measure your project however you need to, however best suits your project. So I really enjoy Camp NaNoWriMo for that actually. <laughs> uh, question three, how will you be tracking your progress? So <laughs> in my previous vlog, I was kind of debating and figuring out how I want to track it. So I decided hours works best for me when I'm editing and writing. Yeah, I'm doing one hour a day, so 30 hours is my goal. 
right now I've been working two hours a day so far. So I'm ahead of that goal and I don't know, I might up my goal and say my goal is 60 hours, two hours a day if I continue on this track. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be good. Um, that's how I'm tracking it through Camp NaNoWriMo is hours, but I'm also going off of my outline. <laughs> so my goal is to get to page 10 in my outline. That's, I'm on page three. So <laughs> now that I've been working for two days, I haven't yet actually written for day three. I just got back from my appointments, so I will be working later on in the evening. But so far I'm still on page three and I'm supposed to be finishing it today in order to meet the kind of schedule that I set down for myself. And that's a, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure that's happening, but that's okay, I guess. Cause when I, when I did my outline for this, I did the pages. Like, I don't know if you could see if it's going to focus, but I split it up for one page for three days. <laughs> no, I should learn by now that it's going to take me longer than I think it is. Always. Always. I underestimate the amount of time a single scene might take me to write. So, so far, it, that's, you know, that's okay. If I don't reach that goal, that's all right. <laughs> I'm not stressing about it too much. I'm giving myself until the end of May to finish going through my entire outline and doing all of the structural edits that I need to do. So, if I don't get as far as I wanted to in camp, that's okay. But... I'm at least trying to get into the habit of working an hour or two every day <laughs> just to get something done. Any kind of progress is better than nothing, right? <laughs> Question four. What's in your bag? What are your writing must-haves? So in general, I guess I have to have my planner that I use to track my progress. I need all of my notes that here and I have like four other binders of notes for the story binder basically the world the characters I have to have that I usually use a keyboard uh, I don't really have enough room on my current desk right now to use it so I've just been typing on my laptop but this is one of my favorite ones it's I don't know if you could tell like they're big brown keys and they kind of it kind of sounds like a typewriter <laughs> <laughs> so I really like it and it's like that mint green color that I love so this kind of adds to the fun of it for me sometimes and I will take this when I am going to a coffee shop or something so I can kind of set my laptop further off on the table and just have this in front of me with my notes and I find that a little bit easier to concentrate on sometimes to have a little bit of distance from the laptop screen and exactly what I'm writing because then it forces me to just write and not pay so much attention to the sentence structure that I'm I get too focused on like my inner editor won't stop I gotta have music I'm usually drinking tea or if I need a little more caffeine I'm drinking cherry Dr. Pepper <laughs> I probably drink too much of that then I should but I do find that it helps stave off migraines sometimes the the caffeine plus this is delicious and it does not taste like normal soda I love it <laughs> any other snacks I eat I don't really eat while I'm writing but I do like to have snacks on hand just for a break or kind of a, a treat and reward system for if I make it uh, oh yeah they're always right here my um cheese nips <laughs> in all of my videos they're sitting back here so if you see this bright orange box it's my cheese nips <laughs> that's that's what I like to eat I put them in my little uh, bowl that it's so it's wicked but this was for Halloween but I just keep it out on my desk all year round and I just I pour a little bit of these in there and just munch on them so that's that's what I do and this box is pretty much always sitting right here in in the background yeah uh, I might have found a really good snack that I probably will regret having found because it's kind of addicting. If anybody loves the Cheetos 
flaming hot they're chipotle ranch flavored and i literally just picked these up today because it was just a little small bag and i was like oh, i'll try it i don't eat junk food a whole lot but these are super good <laughs> i was surprised how good these were because they're they taste like ranch and they're a little bit spicy smoky i really like these these are probably a danger to me because i will eat too many on the sweet side I don't eat too many sweets, but sometimes I have chocolate. I like dark chocolate, dark chocolate. <laughs> so sometimes that helps be a little treat and keeps up your energy a little bit, I guess, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, question five, what kind of cabin are you in? How did you choose your cabin? And if you don't have a cabin, why not? I do have a cabin started by Claire. I will also link her profile down below because she's awesome. We have, I think, a few other author tubers in the cabin. Alina, I'll link her profile down below as well. I like everybody so far. We're, we're, we're chatting it up. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It's, I, I don't know. My last cabin from last summer was not as active, I found that people would go days and days without saying anything so I felt awkward like should I not say anything is everybody just chugging away at their own work so I really like that people are discussing stuff even though we're all working on different projects and <laughs> Claire had a video about Camp Nanorimo and her cabin so I asked to join <laughs> <laughs> that's and that's how it goes and I'm really enjoying our cabin so far <laughs> all right question number six Camp NaNoWriMo versus NaNoWriMo what do you do differently which do you prefer mm. so oh, I I want to say I prefer the flexibility of Camp NaNoWriMo I'm not sure that I really do anything differently except that I use NaNoWriMo for drafting and I generally use Camp NaNoWriMo for editing and rewrites although this July I might be starting a new project so who knows I don't know how that will go I feel like NaNoWriMo has a lot of pressure obviously because of the 50,000 word count but there's this idea that you have to write a book in a month and 50,000 words is not a book for me I don't <laughs> I can't write anything in 50,000 words. <laughs> uh, my current book is 166,000 words now. So that's why sometimes I'm like, oh, like, I feel accomplished at the end of NaNoWriMo. Like, if you've gotten 50,000 words done, that's a, a great chunk. But for me, it really is only part of a story, <laughs> which I need to work on maybe not writing so much so 50,000 words is more progress than it currently is for me yeah yeah so I don't really do anything different to prepare other than I might be really outlining a story before NaNoWriMo whereas for camp I kind of play it by ear and I'm flexible and I have outline and edit notes that I'm doing but I mean, <laughs> I don't stress out about it as much. Like, oh, if I didn't make NaNoWriMo, but it's been a number of years before I really stressed out about NaNoWriMo. I, I used to kind of worry about it, but then after a while I was like, you know, it's fun just to participate and just to talk to other people and see this huge community of writers all <laughs> going through the same thing in a single month. And I know November is a pretty busy month for most people, so I think it does get harder to write and find time to write in November so I don't know I prefer camp and I don't do much differently in terms of preparation other than maybe outlining an entirely new story so so those are the questions <laughs> hopefully I answered them okay that's yeah this this is my first tag it was fun I like doing tags I might I might do more later on in the month to take breaks from the NaNoWriMo world. So yeah, I will link Haley, the creator of this tag down below, as well as some of my other 
Cabin author tuber members so you guys can go follow them if you don't already please do so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos I will be updating my Camp Down Normal progress on Sundays and I might be doing some other sporadic videos on Thursdays or like today on a Tuesday if I just need a break. So at least one video a week is what you get from me. <laughs> All right, if anybody hasn't done this tag, I'm tagging you, go ahead and do it. Even if camp's already started, it's okay. Take a break, do the tag. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.